I'm gonna fly down to San Francisco because my friend Todd down there is vegan and he's told me about this awesome burger called the Impossible Burger which is totally vegan made from vegetables but he says it tastes just like meat. Let's go check it out. Oh, what's it called again? It's called Cox, Cox Come. Come. Cox Come. Cox. And we are trying, uh, Todd has told me about this Impossible Burger, which I'm excited to try. Todd is vegan. I am. I am not. Um, I've never Let's tried a vegan burger before. Let's see if we can make, a, make you a believer by the mm -hmm. end of this meal. <laughs> kind of in the news, and it's a new thing that's talked about, and it's currently hard to find. You can only get it in San Francisco, LA, and New York. At one has a restaurant in each of those cities, yeah. and it's only for like a few hours on a certain day. Right, while so supplies last. Yeah, really hard so to buy. It will sell out and you will just have to go home crying. And be like, yeah. Uh, what makes the Impossible Burger so special is that it was created using the roots of plants because the, the, the engineers that were building the burger found out that the roots of plants naturally create what's called heme, which sounds... Like hemoglobin? Exactly, okay. like hemoglobin. Awesome. So it, and it's dark red and it basically has all the properties of blood. It tastes like blood, it looks like blood, and when you cook it, it, it cooks just like regular meat. So they use that to flavor the burger, uh, which is what's going to give it its very unique meat-like mm -hmm. flavor. The first both time versions. doing an we're Impossible Burger. We're going to have the vegetarian version, we're going to have mm -hmm. the vegan version. And the first time for both of us doing an Impossible Burger. Yes. Okay. I'm satisfied by that answer. And that's, oh my gosh, I think this is the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> awesome. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I even did some kind of saucy thing on yes. it. That's vegan. So we got the vegan version. Ah. Well, let's give it a try. Round and then two. continue yes. our story. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, here we go. I thought today would actually be a very... Uh, Difficult adventure. Very well, but look at that. Oh, you're like an expert at this already. Well, he already showed you. Here's my version with cheese on it. So, cheers. cheers. <laughs> but not the cheese. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <the> cheese. Contaminating. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Freaky good. Definitely like, look at that blood right there. That's, boink, boink, boink. that's crazy. But this, it is, it's very moist. It's making me very moist. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm starting to, I'm starting to understand the hype behind this. I mean, it is really good. It's super juicy and moist. Mm -hmm. It's almost like dripping. Which, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, I think the cheese for me helps a lot. Yeah. Um, it makes it awesome. I think it's like just salty enough where it's like kind of got that meaty taste. Mm -hmm. I don't have a vegan other like vegan patties to compare it to because I haven't tried them. But versus like a a Boca burger or a veggie burger, it's definitely like this is a meat version. Whereas those are like clearly like has corn and black beans in it and mm -hmm. tastes like vegetables. Whereas this gives you that satisfying kind of like meat. Um, experience. Very much in a league of its own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wearing it like a little accent piece. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm kind of like speechless. Like chicken nuggets were great, chicken sandwiches were great. But those, it's so easy to imitate the texture and taste of chicken. It's never been, that's never been an issue. But I've actually never really enjoyed like a burger before, and this, I really am really enjoying this. Um, for me, I went vegan uh, for environmental reasons, first and foremost. And then, um, and it was crazy just like how rapidly, like once you set foot into like the other side of the world, you're just like, oh my gosh, everything that I know is a lie, and like your world comes crashing down around you, and... Mm. I have a, a slight little PSA for 
everybody who has a vegan friend out there. Um, your vegan friends, if you go out to eat with them and you think that a salad is going to be an okay item for them to eat, it's not. It's never okay. Salads <laughs> are, that makes you the worst friend ever. You should basically just stop being friends with your vegan friend or realize that there's more to life than salads and vegans. I, um, I don't actually, actually like really like salads. <laughs> But here I am eating every little slice of lettuce. I, so actually, even though I just said I like salads, I left a little bit. Um, <laughs> so normally, I cover street Did you get food. A pickle? It was like in the uh, burger. It was like a little piece of it. Got it. Don't be jealous. I thought you had like a full pickle. I was like, no. <laughs> robbed. Always after the pickles. Um, I would definitely recommend trying it if you get the chance to. Um, I think if enough people try it and like it, it'll be available in more than just those places. What? <laughs> All of my dreams are coming true? 